My name is AJ Plummer and Vicki and I are from Swansboro, North Carolina. This is a 1995 Stewart and Stevenson uh, 1086. So this started out its life as a tanker in the military and uh, we converted it into a very small little uh, tented uh, overlander. Probably the most unique feature I guess is going to be its size. It does uh, gather a lot of uh, interest. All our weight is sprung so it runs really well off-road uh, and surprisingly well even on-road. Of course we started out you know tenting on the ground like everybody else and uh, the older you get the more comfortable you want to get. So after a couple of getting going places with a class A we shouldn't have been, I wanted to find something that wouldn't get stuck, so then I kind of built it from there. The longest trip I'd like to do is probably going to be uh, Colorado and especially into Utah. If you see it on the highway and you pass me, give me a wave. <laughs> we like to uh, go down the road very slowly and, and make sure we see everything, so uh, its size means it, it runs a little slow. Uh, we do have high-speed axles uh, installed in it, so it'll, it'll do 70, but you don't want to drive a house down the road doing 70 miles an hour. It runs on uh, diesel or uh, recycled dinosaurs, but uh, it'll get about seven miles per gallon if I go easy with it. This is about a year and a half build right here. That's working off and on. I mean, I don't have a crew or anything like that. It's kind of just me and my wife and uh, uh, a good friend of mine. Everything kind of has a little bit of a Western motif to it, Western leather. Uh, got the cast iron everywhere throughout the, the, the coach. But then uh, it gets a little functional here. We got five cameras, forward, back, left, right, and that's all DVR, all records as you drive down the road. Up above me here, we have three navs running off of three different systems here. We're running a 5.5 uh, kilowatt uh, propane generator. Uh, you don't really need to. We've got 400 watts of solar on the roof so we can run full battery packs. We have redundant systems that'll run off the uh, truck batteries, uh, which it has four, the military has four set up. It took me 14 minutes to change the tire from start to finish. That was using an air jack power tool the uh, the lugs off and replace the tire so it's not a bad venture at all you don't want to do it I mean if you don't have to because the tires are pretty heavy they're around 300 pounds central tire inflation system you, know, you just have to line up whenever you reinstall your tires to make sure you get your uh, your holes lined up in the right place so this allows me from the cab control to air down my tires uh, going through sand mud or highway uh, whatever it needs to be done all done from the cab and that's a manual controlled system too. It's not the old automatic uh, troublesome army system that uh, they came out with. This is my hangout back here. Put the bikes under here. You can plug in your, your battery powered bikes that you have and you can kind of get out. Because the truck is so high, you have little overhead porches around the whole rig really. It has, of course, three slide outs. The uh, recliners uh, fold all the way down flat into uh, beds as well. And they also swivel and uh, move and face forward for whenever you're traveling. Uh, fireplace in the main uh, lounge here and uh, the interior is of course done in uh, this western motif. Uh, it's a uh, western explorer so this is all uh, my wife Vicky's uh, doing here. The alligator on the wall and kind of the, the western beach. Uh, western explorer goes all the way to the California beaches so we got a lot of little, little beach stuff going on too. So uh, this is the master suite, master bedroom or whatever you want to call it but I call it the movie theater suite. What we designed in here was uh, uh, a nice big 55 inch television which is actually underneath the king size bed. So the king size bed folds straight up here and you have a big screen and you got your two recliners. All the recliners are electric and uh, fold down and it just makes for a real cool little uh, alternate use of the space. So we can carry about 100 gallons of, of water. We've got two reserve 40 gallon uh, fuel tanks and two 60 gallon fuel tanks. So uh, when you really run out, you don't really run out. Uh, we tried to stay away from all the digital stuff out there. Uh, when it fails, it fails and there you are. With, with uh, analog and manual stuff, there's no issues. That uh, gas lamp, yeah, that's the only thing I can't live without. I can, I can get rid of the truck, but I gotta keep my lamp. <laughs>